XGEAR was founded in 2009 on an invention regarding transparent solar panels. This is actually one of our latest prototypes. This is an e-reader with our cell integrated in the cover. This cell gives this device eternal life when stored and used in normal indoor illumination. Neither the production process nor the end product contains any toxic materials at all. We use screen printing, which is an industrial method used every day to produce everything from posters to t-shirts. So it's low tech with high impact as we call it. The initial funding came from the Swedish energy agency Envinova, but we soon received additional funding from the LIFE program as well as additional funding from the energy agency. It's a huge problem with knowledge pretty much when it comes to private capital. Banks don't understand high technology like this and they simply can't sell it. It's the same thing with investors. They don't understand exactly what it is we do. They just understand that what it does is very interesting. So having a neutral third party like the European Union and LIFE do a serious due diligence and audit and sign off and not only to do the audit, but also say that this was interesting, we will put money in there. That together acts as a seal of approval that gives private investors the uh, confidence they need to invest themselves. We are roughly 200 shareholders right now, and we're a company valuation of more than 80 million euros, so we're growing quite significantly in the last couple of years. Looking at the investor side, it's everything from high net worth individuals to uh, large real estate companies who are interested in our building integration products. We would like to build our next factory, a gigafactory as we call it, with a very large production capacity within the European Union. But as such, we need to know right now under what terms and conditions we can get the funding required for us to build this factory. The biggest problem for a company is always the unknown. So the more we know about the future, the more we can act on it right now. It comes from everything to regulations and uh, legislative questions, but for us primarily right now, the financing question. If we would know today that if we in 18 months achieve X, Y and C, we would be eligible for funding from EIB or EFSI, that would very much help improve our day-to-day -day and strategic work right now. Our hopes for the future is that our products will be integrated into everything you use in everyday life that consumes energy. Everything from wearable electronics to mobile devices to your car as well as your house.